before we get into this video, <coughs> Jesus. Before we jump into this video, I just wanted to say real quick, if it's possible for us to um, get to 13K by the end of September. 13K by the end of September. But Sam, what if I'm already subscribed? Shut the smash the like button. Okay, that's enough of that rant or whatever that was. If you guys are not already, subscribe, join the Panda Fam. We're almost at 13K, we're probably gonna hit it in the next couple days, and once we do that, maybe by the end of October we hit 14K? Mm hmm We shall see, but either way, let's go jump back into this video. What's going on, Panda Fam? Today we are wrestling in San Diego. And this is show one of four for the weekend. Today is Thursday, I wrestle in San Diego. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I wrestle in Cancun. I've never been to Cancun, so I'm actually pretty excited about that one. But um, what in the world was I thinking booking myself four days in a row? What the fuck? But I'm being a little dramatic for the vlog. Uh, of course, I'm very blessed to uh, you know be booked this many times, um, but let me just let you a little inside, inside to my world. Four shows, that means four paid days, so money-wise, that's good. But uh, body-wise, that's gonna be a little rough. Four days in a row getting my body slammed on the ground, that's gonna be a little bit of a rough one. So, um, we'll see how this goes. I'm bringing you guys on the journey with me, but uh, first we gotta get to the airport. We have a flight in about an hour, so we need to go to the airport literally right now. Yo, why'd I disappear, guys? <laughs> we gotta drive to the airport. Like, I, I gotta stay in here. U.S. regulations require all large personal electronic devices to be turned off and stoned at this time. May continue to use your small larger devices. All right, so we made it over here. We're in San Diego at the show. Ugh, super tired, yes. It is, it is me, yeah. yes, yes, oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. You can... Sammy's the man, baby! There we go, there we go. This, you guys are helping my ego. Uh, <laughs> but yes, we're at the show. What's up, brother? How are you? Good to meet you. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan, dude. Did we, did we screw this up? No, no. Yeah? I saw this guy last year at BOLA, oh. and he blew my mind. Yeah. One of the best workers in the world, right? Oh, thank, you, thank you. Well, yes, we're at the show, like I've said probably now three times. And then look who else we got here. Is this somebody that the Hi, Darby. Yeah. Shaving my self. Uh, <laughs> Board. Shaving all the uh, all the all the hair you got on your chest there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will talk to you in a second. I don't know how much more I'm gonna re be recording here, but uh, I'll see you guys in literally one second. Oh, caught it! But okay, where do we even start? Like, I don't even know. Uh, the last time I talked to y'all, we were in San Diego, and we were about to wrestle. We're no longer in San Diego. So uh, let me just fill you in to how we got here. So I had the match. Sammy Gavon, current AAA light heavyweight champion. Oh my God! I wish I knew the technical name of that. I'm just gonna call it an insanity dive. Once my match was over, I stuck around for a little bit, sold some Sammy G t-shirts that you can get yourself at SammyGuevara.com, baby. Okay, okay, enough of that. So after that was done, we immediately hopped in a car and went back to the hotel. Everybody, you see this hotel? You see it? I would like everybody to know I was in this hotel for less than two hours. <sighs> Goodbye. Yeah, we were literally there. We were literally in that hotel for no time at all. I feel bad that he even got the hotel. But yeah, once we got my bags, we showered, we went hot back in the car, and we went and drove to the border, and that's where I got dropped off at. Walked through the border into Mexico, from there we got picked up, and then we went immediately to the airport, immediately took a plane, went to Monterey. From Monterey, we had to wait three hours because it was a connecting flight. 
After we in Monterey, we hopped on another plane. Two and a half hours later, we made it to Cancun, but then I had to go and jump in a van for an hour and a half to go to the hotel. And now, <sighs> here we are. Yo, and check out this hotel, it's actually pretty sweet. So we have a bathtub just chilling that I would totally use if I wasn't sharing this room. And right now, can you guys guess who I'm sharing this room with? I'm gonna show you them a little bit later, but if you had to guess who I'm sharing this room with, who would you guess? Pretty sweet shower area here. Boom. My bed. TV. Oh, and this is what I was balancing my camera on to like record just now. And then this is outside. I have been wanting to fly my drone out this window ever since I got here, so I'm gonna do that right now. And hopefully not get myself kicked out of this hotel. any parkour stuff in like 10 years but they got this freaking obstacle course over here like American Ninja Warrior style so let's go see if I still got it Oh man, that's the most cardio I've done. That's the most cardio I've done in like a month. Clarity, clarity. Okay, so I said for you guys to guess who my roommate is, and now it's time to show him. None other than the man, the myth, legend, Jack Evans from the heavens. But I have turned over a new leaf because you see, it has come to my attention that I am in fact a millennial. Yes. So instead of trying to be a good influence on his life, I'm letting him be a bad influence on mine. I have now listened to more mumble rap than any human being should. I now am... A soft sissy little prick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, we just I'm never gonna listen to mumble rap. No, you if were just I hear that it. goddamn Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, one more time for your punk ass, I swear to God, he'll never be my roommate again because he will no longer be living. Gucci gang, 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 one more time. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh. 
Alrighty, so just had the match. We got the W today. And uh, my tag partner. What are you guys doing? These are my tag partners. <laughs> Getting a workout in? I guess we are doing a workout. They're doing a workout after the match. Yeah. <laughs> but what's up, buddies? Yeah, we got the W. Yeah. Cancun, Hard Rock. Mmm. There we go. Yes. Got the, got the W with these guys. And. Uh, from getting the W with them to uh, saying hi to my uh, Australian alcoholic friend over here. I don't, that's not a thing, don't make it a thing. If you put it online, that's gonna be a thing. All right, know. we'll just censor it. You make a beat, uh, that's all right. Today I kissed Jack Evans, I don't know why you're like. <laughs> what, you kissed him? No, but it was in a, it was in a match. So oh, it's okay. Not, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's work. No, no it's homo, paid, yeah. If I get paid for it, it's like, it's not weird. Oh, there we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Little Zan for the first time today. Yeah. Right? Uh, and I thought it was dope. Okay. Yes, little Zan. So what did we learn today? Okay. Little Zan's the man. That's what, what we learned. Think of Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly's this murdered, not just murdered. Dude, I had to call the fire yeah, We had to call the cops. At the fire brigade as well because someone got burnt that day. Yeah, <laughs> got burnt. So you could just call 911. Yes. And go, Yo, we got it. Or the fire station. Yo, we got. Yeah, we already know. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they were Eminem's know before dead. Before yeah, you yeah. call them. <laughs> Damn. All yes. Right. Uh. All right, let's head out of here now. <gasps> Heading out of the building now. Vamp, say what's up to the vlog. What up, vlog? We're <laughs> bailing on the autographs. Mm, out of here. Didn't come from me. <laughs> okay, and that was the San Diego and Cancun journey. I'm gonna end this one a little bit differently than I usually do. The weekend that this whole video was filmed when I was in Cancun was the same weekend that Mac Miller passed away. And before I say anything, I'm not the type of person that will tweet out something when someone dies and be like, thoughts and prayers, like blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't know Mac Miller personally. I never met him. Uh, I just listened to his music a lot especially in the beginning of my wrestling journey when I, when I used to work at a Whataburger. I'd be one of these guys they send to their outside lane, they call it lane B, to go and do people's orders. And I didn't even have a car at the time and it was super hot. I'd have to walk to and from work. So life at pretty much at that time was just a grind. And during that time, Mac Miller had a song, Best Day Ever, come out. I had these $5 headphones I put in my ear and I would just walk to and from work just jamming to best day ever And there was a line right in the beginning of that song that just fit my situation I never take a day off work around the clock my engineer getting paid off and it's true I never took a day off I, I was working like every single day at Whataburger and then after work I would go to the gym and then if I wasn't doing either of those I was driving to a show who knows where and there was just so many other songs that he came out with Whenever I was going through something, it was like he had a song that fit that situation. It's just, uh, so it's just sad. It's sad that he's gone, and um, it makes me just appreciate life that much more. You know, when someone passes, it puts things into perspective, like whatever's really going on, what's really important, living life and enjoying life. And so, so I'm going to go and try to enjoy my day. Thank you guys for watching and spending a little bit of your time watching a little bit of my life. I'll see you guys in the next one.